This bit of video is no doubt going to be horrifically out of order with others, um, but I have come down the garage tonight because I've just ordered some headlining material for the bubble because I wanted the old headlining board out of the way in my garage, so the sooner that I can get that um, re-trimmed and inserted back of the car, the more I win it, uh, like space in my workshop thing. This is a spare cartridge, it's actually the one that came out of the car originally. That is the old fabric from wait one jiffy from the old um, <clears throat> interior panel which was like that and I need to re-trim it the one in the car the plastics actually cracked here so I want to reuse the whole of this because there's no rust on it and the plastic trim is nice that needs to sit on top of the headlining material unfortunately <clears throat> it's not as simple as just unscrewing it it's actually heated and molded through the metal panel so it was probably like a cylinder and then they pushed it together and then heated this end and it curled back and pulled the two pieces together so I'm just very carefully sanding through until I can pop those bits out and then when I come to retrim it and put it all back together again I'll have to glue it rather than try and fix it mechanically Hopefully that will now pop off and I can see what surfaces I've got to put my glue back onto. Hmm. Unfortunately it's a bit of a relief job. So the only places where there's going to be this in contact with that is going to be around these apertures. So yeah, I'll have to be careful with what glue I use and how well I squeeze it on. But anyway. Hopefully this will intersperse nicely with other sections of video. Just so you get an idea of how much space this thing takes up, that's the board itself. This is one of the colour samples I ordered um, from Martrim. Basically all of these headlines are made of stuff called brushed nylon. Um, and Although this one hasn't sagged, it's heavily impregnated with mould. So even if I scrubbed the mould off and cleaned it up, that would just come straight back. And you can't steam clean them because it, the steam cleaning process will dissolve the glue and the foam. That's the usual reason for these headlining sagging. Basically this foam stuff breaks down and um, the material falls away. So I've ordered what I hope is the right colour. It's not one of these three. I'll hopefully either have shown you previously in this video or we'll show you subsequently, but basically it's one called oatmeal. But this thing is quite flimsy and the more I have it balanced on random bits of car interior trim in here, the more it's going to get damaged. Hence why I'm getting a wriggle on to try and at least clean up these bits and put it all back together again. That's the interior panel from the underside of the sunroof. I'm just trying to get the old glue off. In there is unleaded in here is panel white and neither one of those is touching it so I'm gonna go find some thinners well whatever that glue is it's pretty good stuff because even the base coat thinners wasn't taking it off so now I'm using a wire brush on a drill trying not to damage the paint because it's actually really good and not rusty and I can't be bothered to paint it again so I'm gonna get the most worst of the glue off with the drill and then the final bit I'll just have to um, I don't know, find another solvent that wants to digest the remains. That's that roof panel all cleaned up. All the glue is off. That's that bit of trim. I'm just saving that. Here is the headlining board. This bit I ripped off so that I could send the material away for a sample. Um, but yeah, I need to get all of this off and then clean off all the old foam back to the good fiberglass well, it's, it's not really fiberglass it is chopped strand resin impregnated board of some sort very thin very light so I'm going to try not to damage it too much either my weapon of choice is a steel brush and it's just coming off it's 
um, not actually feeling like there's any glue residue there either. I'm sure there is, but um, I'm not going to be able to put any solvents on that to get rid of it because I'm concerned it might digest whatever's holding the fibre gloss or the fibre resin stuff together. So um, what I'll do is clean all this off and then right before I spray the glue I'll probably just give it a very light rub down with some panel wipe just to get the last of the dust off. The less fun side of things, these are all the plastic interior trims that go on the ABC pillars around the tailgate and just going to spend the rest of the evening cleaning them as best I can with a nail brush, soft nail brush and some auto glim interior shampoo and normal fairy liquid. Mm, fun. Excuse the music in the background, I can't be bothered to go and turn the radio down but that's clean that end, grubby that end. You can kind of see the amount of shite that was built up on it. Quite therapeutic if a little tedious. We have moved to the bathroom. Basically they're too big and cumbersome to do in the kitchen. Um, thank goodness my fiance has gone round her mum's because she would not be best pleased. So I've got to do this quickly. Uh, plan is to make as little mess as possible. There we go, all clean. Unfortunately, I'm noticing that on a number of these, you can see stress marks where on the rear side, you have the plastic and um, metal clip, which holds it to the car. <clears throat> and when these were pulled off, it's obviously stressed the plastic and made it paler. It's done it particularly badly on some of the front ones. I've just been on the internet and you can still buy that whole front section there for £9.30, including VAT. So for 20 quid, I could replace both of those. I haven't found these yet because I don't know the part number. These are actually the worst and there's some scuffs and scratches like from where stuff's been loaded in through the tailgate. So it might be nice to get new ones if I can, but um, as I say, I don't know the part number yet, so I don't know whether they're available. Um, I might do some Googling later on today. But tomorrow, hopefully, I can do the headlining material, get the headlining board and the sunroof cartridge relined, and then put it all back together again. Fingers crossed. It's time for a day that I have been looking forward to and dreading in equal measure. I'm going to try and recover the headlining. I've got that resting on a box with some black plastic underneath it, so I shouldn't get glue everywhere. I've just hoovered this again to get any dust off it. And down here, that's my roll of new fabric. That is the old headlining on the original sunroof. Um, and these were the colours that I selected as um, test pieces really that was my first batch and basically that one was kind of okay but when you looked at it in daylight it just looked a bit too dark um, particularly when you put it against the other plastics the other two were too sort of orangey so that, those were all out that was champagne cream and cashmere then this was my second set of samples and again it's quite a tight call between them that cloud grey oh, was just, sorry, just had a call. Well, not me, my fiance. But anyway, yeah, these ones, we, these were much closer and it was really hard to pick between them. In the end, I went for that one because to me, with my eyeballs at the time, it looked the best. Subsequently, I'm thinking maybe I should have gone with that one. But anyway, I've gone with oatmeal, silver grey, I just thought it was too pale and cloud grey wasn't warm enough, it was just too sort of blue. Um, so yeah, I've gone with the oatmeal and that's what it looks like on its roll. I've bought a lot of it, so theoretically I can screw this up and I'll still have enough left to be able to do um, the actual board and the sunroof. So fingers crossed I don't need to do that. The other thing I've been wondering about is which way this is supposed to be aligned because you can see there's like lines running through it that way. And on the original, 
if there were lines it really wasn't very well defined um, so I think I'm going to have them running longitudinally along the car it sort of makes sense rather than going sideways and if it is a bit wonky it shouldn't make too much difference so what I'm going to do now is get that cut roughly to size and then I'll start trying to glue it in place uh, without ruining it I was just about to start chopping and I was going to chop outboard of that crease there and take that bit but as I'm watching that crease is disappearing so I think I'm going to use it all um, stick with plan one have enough to do two jobs if I need to because I did see a video on YouTube where a guy creased his headliner and he waited about a week after he'd fitted it and the crease came out so hopefully it's just in the recovery of the foam and by the time that's stuck down and rested for a while it will come out so yeah I'm just gonna chop off the width that I think I need and then get ready to glue well that's handy I think I might have lucked out big time that crease that I was worried about will actually sit inside where the sunroof's gonna go so that's all waste material anyway so I think we're good to go the other thing I've noticed is despite my best efforts to get these lines to look straight they actually curve in the fabric so even on the roll down here it, that edge has been cut straight and yet they're all on the piss so I can get it as good as I can but you know that's just the way it's going to be unfortunately it's pretty much parallel to the car but maybe I'm being fussy right moment of truth I have watched a number of people doing this and they all seem to have slightly differing methods the one I liked the most was obviously fold it in half lengthways and then you see some people spraying the whole width of the board and putting glue on the headlining as well and they're rolling it on but I saw a professional guy doing it and what he did was he just did the middle yeah because then that gave him the freedom to concentrate when he was pulling the sides in so what I plan on doing is doing this patch here flipping this back doing the same that side and then I'm gonna flip the whole side in do that and then do the same on the other side and then the ends and we should be good incidentally I'm using the Mar trim contact adhesive came from their website as well again no affiliation with martrim never used the company before i just found them because i was googling the products that were available um some of these you spray on one surface some you spray on both this one says spray one surface horizontally and the other vertically each to minimum coverage of 80 percent allow the adhesive to become touch dry press firmly together from the center working outwards to give you good contact and exclude any air bubbles so yeah i'm just going to be doing what it says on the tin wish me luck i think i might already have ballsed it up slightly I pushed a bit too hard with my folded up t-shirt and it's left a divot running through it so hopefully that will come out um, but I genuinely don't know this is one of those wait and see type of projects I've never done a headlining before so I'm not expecting super duper results but at the end of the day if it all looks completely crap I can rip it off take it to someone who knows what they're doing and they can do it for me but we shall continue.
well I've done as far as I can go so far it went pretty well I'm quite happy the gouge mark I put in it here has kind of started to come out that crease is hidden in the sunroof um, there's not too much glue on the floor which is good to oh actually there is quite a lot down there whoops um, yeah there was a crease here so I had to peel the fabric off and then slightly put it back down again um, it should be okay because the sun visor goes in there the rear view mirror and everything is up here so you won't see it from inside the car and outside the car I think you'll just see the top of the windscreen and the top tint so that's all all right I'll need to put some more glue in there but I'll have to wait until all the rest of the glue's gone off so I can turn it over trim that out and then shoot a bit more glue inside and there's a piece of trim that goes around there anyway so even if the glue's not good the trim piece will hold it up um, and I also want to wait until the glue's dried so I can get rid of this which is a bit of overspray but I don't want to do it when it's wet because it'll just smear in so I'll wait till it goes off and then hopefully I can just pick it off with my fingernails or some tweezers or something oh dearie me you know how I'm a big fan of showing you actually the reality of doing these jobs well one thing that you get to learn from my mistakes is do not get overspray on it and if you do don't try and wipe it because that just makes things much much worse don't use white spirit because that will discolor the headlining i know this because i was practicing over here so that was a bit where i had overspray and um, the white spirit unlike brake cleaner or something doesn't evaporate off it still leaves like an oily stain so i don't know whether you can see it but there's a damp mark there that is where i've tried to rub it and it just smears and then gets thoroughly embedded in the headlining it doesn't come out the only way to get it off is incredibly tedious boring and not really what i want what i want to be doing but basically i have an array of my fiance's like super duper precise tweezer things and i'm just going around picking it out and i've improved my technique so you pluck like that and then it tears the fibers if you try and pull it gently i don't know why it just doesn't come out as nicely so this is what i'm doing this is how i'm going to spend my sunday afternoon and ironically the only reason i was doing this today is because it was piss wet awful outside and of course it's now bright sunshine so very very irritating but you get the idea incidentally the tufts that you see coming up they do kind of go back down again there was a really bad bit over here somewhere and I've it was there so I've done it all and just rubbed it with my hand and you can't see it was ever there so um, it is coming off it's just a slow and irritating process right most of it is out still got that bit to do there annoyingly there are some bits that i just cannot get off they've where it's stuck the fibers together like that as i've tried to pincher it out which is super super irritating so i'm going to try my hardest not to do that over here and hopefully when that's in the car you know it's not particularly evident and hopefully you won't see it okay it was hanging down a bit there so i've just shot a whole load more glue in and just carefully wrapping it into place um a lot of the headlinings i've seen on the internet they're folded back on themselves but the rover one wasn't it's just trimmed straight flush so that's what i've done here too final bit for the moment is to go round and cut out with a scalpel the little holes for the sun visors the electric roof that thing that plastic tall thing interior light and a few other studs and fittings oh and the grab handles so i shall do that now cool headliner is done um all in all it's gone pretty well hopefully it'll look better when it's in the car and all the rest of the trim is in, in and around it and it'll look factory which is the name of the game next i will get this put somewhere safe and then i'll do the sunroof bit down there onto the headliner of the sunroof the um, original had tape across these indentations that hold the springs for the little catches so i'm just going to tape those over with some appropriate tape it was just like masking tape or something they used so i'll do the same 
basically going to be employing exactly the same technique as I did last time, but smaller scale and hopefully less chance of screwing it up. So yeah. Done. It's lifting up slightly there, but I don't really care. There's not a lot I can do about that. I just basically didn't put enough glue in, but um, I think that is the least seen part. That, I think, is the front. Is that right? Oh, I can't even remember now. But anyway, I'm not that bothered. There's no creases, no wrinkles, no holes. So I'm going to wait for the glue to go off, and then I can cut my little holes for my plastic trim and the vents that are in there as well. Jobs are good. Un. This is a back to back comparison of an original board with the original fabric. This is the one I've just re trimmed, and you can see the colour match is pretty good. It's not perfect, but you'd be hard pressed to tell the difference.